Hey guys, welcome back to BJ Tech News, episode 34. So, this video is a continuation from two other videos that I've created so far. The first video was basically how to show you guys how to solve your profile could not be open correctly issue in Chrome. The second video was basically a uh, a rundown of what uh, an actual Google Enterprise Tech advice what they gave me what was the solution was basically what I gave you guys and today I uh, received uh, a tip from somebody uh, his name is Tony big shout outs to Tony and uh, he posted something in my blog and I and I kind of found it interesting and I felt like I needed to record this and share with you guys so what he shared was something really really cool so this is what he wrote. Hey, the issue is related to a background process is being left running when you close Google Chrome. If they are running when you shut down your computer, they are forced to close and then co corrupt the web data file. The fix for the latest version is as follows. First, delete the web data file as mentioned above, which is what I mentioned to you guys in my first video. Next, the extra step would be to close Google Chrome and then reopen it. You should, now, you should not get the error message. Then to ensure that the problem does not happen again, even after rebooting, do the following. Go into settings, click on the wrench and then select settings, then select show event setting. At the bottom of the page next, scroll down to the bottom of the page and uncheck the background apps. Okay, this was solve your issue. You should be able to close Google Chrome and reboot without error showing you showing up again. So I'm gonna basically show you guys how to do this. And I want you guys, for those that are having the issue when you're rebooting, I want you guys to test this out and blog. Blog at my web my my, uh, my blog site at bjtechnews.webpress.com or um, shoot me a comment uh, right below, right below at this uh this video shoot me a comment let me know subscribe to my channel uh, hey say hey BJ yo I tried it this worked. this is awesome but still regardless if it works Google should still fix the problem so I'm gonna show you guys how to do what Tony um, suggested so I'm gonna bring this I have this virtual machine I have Chrome and on the first video I'll show you guys that you gotta go to C users and whatever user account you're logged in I'm logged in as an administrator so if you guys are logged into you know um, J Smith or John Smith that's where you go and within here the files already is hidden so at the address bar just make this active like this put a backslash and just write app data and enter okay the folder that you want to go into is local you want to go into Google Chrome user data default and at the very bottom you want to delete these two files okay I'm gonna delete them okay now for what Tony said in my blog he said that once you delete it actually I'm gonna go back into that site I'm gonna go back to that location guys and I just wanna let I wanna show you that Google does recreate that File those two files when you delete them. So I'm gonna put it, put it to snap it to the side, open up Chrome, and it 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 recreated it. So you're good to go. Now, for what Tony said at the blog is once you reopen it, you should get no errors, which basically we didn't get any errors, right? In my case, this is a fresh virtual machine, so I didn't receive any errors. But for you guys, most likely when you delete the web data, you get no errors, right? Once you do that. You guys want to go into the wrench, go to settings, at the very bottom, show advanced settings, go all the way to the bottom and you see uh, uncheck continue running background apps when Google Chrome is closed. So you want to uncheck that and uh, that's about it. Uh, that's what Tony um, posted up in Chrome. So I'm going to open up Chrome again, go to this, go to the wrench, go to settings. Go to show advance and it's unchecked. It's good to go. I want you guys, guys that are has been have been following the, um, these videos. Uh, I want you guys to try this out. Try it out. Reboot your machine and see if this works. If if so, hey, we have a, a solution for it. It's it's awesome. 
Uh, we actually have a solution that fixes this problem after the reboot. Plus, that means Google needs to step up the game and create a patch to fix this problem. Um, again, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please subscribe to my channel, show some love. Also, follow me at Twitter at BJ Tech News. Also, check out my blog for the latest and greatest reviews on software, tips and tricks on everything uh, at BJTechNews.WordPress.com. And I'll see you guys later. Thank you.